Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Vanessa. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use DAP Launchpad, a quick and easy way to deploy your front end with your smart contract in just a few minutes. Let's get into it. This is what we're going to be building. Let's run this command. npm install dash g at polygon labs slash DAP dash launchpad. If you are running this on a Mac, you will need to add sudo. And all that means is you're running it as an admin. So it will ask you for your password. And now we can go ahead and initialize a new project. And we can do that by entering dap launchpad in it. And let's call this demo. Once we have that installed, let's cd into that new directory and open up a VS code. Once you have VS Code opened, you'll see that we have two directories, a front end as well as a smart contract folder. Let's open up our front end and you can see we have this .env.example file. First, let's go ahead and cd into that front end and then we can run copy.env example and we're just going to name it .env to keep things easy. You will be required to have a Wallet Connect ID. So you can do that by going to cloud.walletconnect.com. And I already have a project ID set up, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Go back to my project and paste that in here. We're going to want to do the same thing with our private key on the smart contract side of things. We can erase all of this for the example. And let's run that same command we just did. For our front end, we're going to copy everything that's inside this .env example file, and then we're going to create a new .env file. Once we have that, we can now get our private key, go back to our project. We'll save that. Let's go back to our quick start and see what is the next step to launch this application. All we have to do is run dap-launchpad-dev. We need to make sure we're in the home directory. So let's try running that again. Excellent. We have a local blockchain network running from Hardhat. We have a bunch of different account IDs that we can use. This is running on localhost 3000. Let's import private key number 13. We can do that by going to our MetaMask wallet, importing an account. We'll paste in that private key. Now let's click on connect. We'll click on MetaMask. We're connecting account three. Let's click on connect. And let's say GM from local host. Account three, we're on the hard hat network. Let's confirm that. Awesome. Now you can see we were able to post that to the network. And you can see here our post message went through. Now let's see this on a testnet and see how easy we can get this deployed both to a testnet as well as for sale. Let's go back to our quick start to deploy your app to production. All we have to do here is run dap launchpad deploy dash n for the network as well as the chain name. Let's take a look at our config file that we have for hardhat. And you're gonna see that we have all these other chains here. So to keep things simple, Let's remove everything except for the Polygon ZK EVM testnet. Something to make note of, this is our old testnet. So we're going to want to update this for it to be the Cardona ZK EVM testnet. This is the Polygon ZK EVM Cardona details. Let's go ahead and copy that URL. And back in your config file, all you have to do is just replace the current configuration. Now let's deploy this. We can do that by running dap dash launchpad deploy and for network. And we're going to do the Polygon ZK EVM testnet, which is this guy up here. We're going to say yes. Projects linked to existing project. No. What's our project name? Let's call this demo. In which directory? The root directory is good. We can hit enter. And we'll just hit, do we want to modify these settings? No, we just want to keep everything default. While this is building, we can actually go ahead and verify that that contract has been deployed. 
but let's copy that contract address and we can go to polygon scan testnet cardona we'll paste in that contract address and you can see this contract was just deployed one minute ago awesome our project has been deployed let's go check it out We have a live URL. Let's connect our wallet. And for this example, I'm gonna use my burner account. The wallet is asking me to change from hard hat to the ZK EVM testnet. We'll go ahead and click switch network. And now let's try to say GM from testnet. This is my burner wallet. We're connected to the Cardona network. Now let's confirm. And just like that, we have it up here and we can also just double check that the transaction did get posted. And as you can see, this was done nine seconds ago. And just like that, you have the front end and the smart contract deployed. This is going to be a total game changer at your next hackathon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.